Hello everybody and welcome back to another peanut video. Yes, I'm back again with a sealed pool example, as you can see, of Hour of Devastation and two Amoket, as you would have uh, get them in a, in a local game store if you want to play sealed. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to open these packs and see what we can make of it. Let's start off with opening the packs and uh, I'll guide you through my choices and decisions. I've made a few of these uh, before. Uh, but it was with uh, Dragons of Tarki, I believe, and some other uh, other sets, but uh, yeah. So I'm just going to try to make a deck out of these cards. Uh, if I see something interesting, really interesting, I'll uh, let you know instantly. Uh, so far, it's okay. Okay, maybe you can't see the cards instantly, but I'll show them anyway when we're starting to build decks. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a heading instantly. Uh, this is multicolored as well. So it's kind of hard to uh, choose, uh, in my opinion, to which uh, direction you should go. This is a really nice playable card. Because there's a lot of options in Amulket and uh, Hour, which makes uh, my head hurt sometimes. <laughs> Got some lands here, some more multicolor, no, more multicolor over here. Uh, red, red, oh, this is rare, yeah, it's not the best rare. Alright, in Amulket there's nothing all too special, besides this one, this is a strong card, so far. So let's see if our devastation can amp it up a little bit. This is also a really good playable card. Uh, first of all, when I start to build my uh, pool, I don't even look at the cards yet, or at least glimpse at them, and uh, just sort them out. And later, this is a nice important card too for mana fix, potential splashes. Uh, oh, this is also a nice card. I love it. It's good for... Oh, and look at this. Scarab God. Mm. Yeah, this can be interesting to uh, do. We uh, You can already see that we have a nice heading with black and blue. So hopefully we can get some more playable cards out of that. Create a deck like that. Because the Scarab God and this one is a good start. Really good start. I always uh, remember a few cards when I uh, sort these, you want to know what you had, of course. Um, so far, yeah, the, uh, another blue-black. This is probably going to go blue-black. Another good, strong black card. Vizier can be useful. Oh, put this in the wrong pile. Wildfire Eternal and, ooh, look at this. More blueness. Two rares. Huh. Okay. The red one is strong, but maybe not playable, I don't know. We'll see. Interesting. Maybe red can be splashed so far, as, as I can tell. I don't know yet. Could be a thing. We have, uh, we have a good pool so far, and I have one booster left. That Scarab God makes it a little bit easier. More deserts. Ooh, there's a lot of green stuff here. Oof. That's also really strong. This is a good card. This is a good card as well, but it's white. And we have this one, the Hydra. Also really, really strong. So that's a good playable. But I think we have to choose between this or that. <laughs> we can't play green, red and black and blue. That would be too much. But I think we can manage three colors. Let's see what this pack brings us. Some camel action, that's good. Quenchable Thirst is also a strong card, another great black card. Yeah, I think we should go uh, black-blue so far. A multicolor uh, shit card. <laughs> a Torment of Scarabs is a nice playable card. And oh, another one. <laughs> I don't know if that's good. We'll see about that. Alright, if we look through the green pile, we have uh, a few playables, but it's kind of hard because we only have, well, we have four deserts, but only in green. So I don't know if this will work. Uh, it's a good card, obviously, together with this one. But I don't know if we can make it, uh, if we also want to do the Scarab God. But because if I had this, well, I have it. <laughs> I would definitely go with the Scarab God, because that card is really, really strong. And we have enough uh, black and blue stuff that we can use. Uh, yeah, for example, this one or uh, the Doomfall. This one is really strong as well. So I would definitely go blue, black at least, because yeah, blue is also really strong. We've got some two drops over here, with an unsummon, this counter spell, 
a nice drake with flying, another two drop, the serpent, uh, yeah, serpent, <laughs> another serpent, but this is not so good. Some more counter action, uh, but yeah, it's kind of hard, you have to decide. In white we don't really have uh, that much good uh, bombs, we have uh, the two camels, that's a good thing. Sandblast is really good, and this one can, can be played as well, and obviously the cast out is also a really strong removal spell, but besides that, there's nothing really much going on in white, so I think I'll just uh, skip the white one. Then we uh, also have the red here, which can be, uh, I already put them on top. There are a lot of good playable cards in this uh, uh, color. So I don't know, I think we can manage Grixis colors. We don't have to play with uh, Hazard's favor though, because I'm not a big fan of that card. But before, for example, Battlefield Scavenger is a really strong card, two drop as well. And uh, yeah, if we play two deserts, there would be these, probably, because I don't uh, add green in my deck. This can also be a, a nice removal spell, but yeah, it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be tough. Maybe a splash red or not red at all, I don't know. That wildfire eternal was uh, really nice, but I don't know if we can squeeze it in there. In the multicolor uh, stack we uh, have a few choices that we can make. I think this is auto include for me if we start off with these colors, because this is just a nice finisher. Uh, this card is sort of re removal or a combat trick, and you have the uh, discard too as well, extra options. And the rags and the riches is also really nice, stealing cards and killing killing dudes. Then we can also add red and ignore these because these are different colors. So we can also play these two. This is a really nice card, and I don't know if we can play this one, but uh, if it if it is. Uh, playable with the uh, converted manacles two or less, it's definitely worth uh, worth a try. So let's put uh, the colors down on on my playmat and see what we can make out of it. Oh yeah, and these two, yeah, I don't know about these. I don't know about these, but uh, yeah, we could play them for Scry three. <laughs> I don't know, and uh, maybe sp uh, get this one to produce green for me, so I can also use the second ability, but. I don't know if this is even strong enough. We'll see in the deck building. All right, these two will definitely go in uh, anyway, <laughs> whatever colors we play. This is good for mana fix, and this is an extra option, and we can manage one colorless uh, land in our deck. So let's start off with the Scarab God as a five drop. Here we go. This one as a four drop. I always put them in uh, uh, the curve. This is a two drop. And we do not know if we want to play these yet. Uh, let's see, I want to play this card because this is really strong. It simply drains or disrupts your opponent every single turn and it's hard to get rid of. Because not everybody plays uh, with enchantment removal. The Scrounger is also a really good card. It's your sort of second bomb. And if it dies you can recur it with this one. So yeah, I think that's a, that's a nice auto include for me as well. Uh, removal is really important, so this one goes in right away and with some extra options. So there we go. We have another removal spell, really important, and you can also di disrupt your op opponent's hand. So this is a uh, in for me. I'm just gonna look up what else we have. This is also an auto include, really strong card. Removes a creature or shrinks a creature. You get lifelink a plus one plus one. Yeah, it's, it makes everything a good uh, beat stick. There we go. In he goes. Now onto the creatures in black. We have a few cool cards. Like this one. This is a good target for that cartouche. Makes a 4-3 menace lifelink. Whew, that's tough. It's also a zombie. So uh, that's good for my scarab god. So I'm going to add this in the deck. Good 3 drop. But two drops are also really important and, well, speaking of zombies, this is a zombie camel. 2-1 trades good for other creatures, so yeah, in he goes. Alright, let me just put these onto the side for now. There's uh, still a few playables in there, but I'm gonna sift through blue for a minute. I definitely want to play Supreme Will, it's uh, really annoying. 
a counter spell or gives you cards later. But we need some more creatures. So let's go another. Uh, let's give our deck another zombie right here. So I shut up. I'm trying to make a video here. There we go. So in he goes. Uh, so we don't have really a one drop, but I don't think we need that as well. But I think an unsummon could be useful. I'm not sure if I want to play this uh, right away. Mm, we need some more creatures though, and this is a really good card. Gives other, other creatures flying, and flying is really strong in uh, limited. So here we have a few more creatures in the deck, but we don't have a four drop. Well, yeah, we have this one, which also has flying. Good card, good card, and returns as a zombie. It's also really nice for your uh, Scarab God. So I think I might just add this one, no matter the case. So we were talking about adding some uh, red in here. So let's see if we have something that's worth the trouble. Yeah, we have a lot of zombies here as well. So I think, and a nice removal spell right here. So I think red, an addition of red can be really useful for us. It's also maybe a better card uh, to play at the four slot. Oh yeah, we, we also have this one, of course. Hmm. Yeah, well, if I go with red, I would play the open fire, because it's a really strong card. Uh, I would play another two drop, the scavenger. Um, yeah, maybe the sand strangler, I'm not sure yet. It's a tough decision, because we only have two uh, useful deserts. I don't know if we can make that uh, it's still a 3-3 obviously, but mm -hmm. let's see how much we have now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, uh, 13, 14, <laughs> 15, 16, 17. So okay, we have a lot of space left. Um, if we go this way and we, we're playing a lot of uh, instant and sorceries, or do we actually? 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, 5, Six, yeah, six at least. So this one also is a really nice addition. Uh, that makes the unsummon a little bit better too, because you have some uh, spell backup for this card. This is a really game winner. And also a lot of targets for your Wildfire Eternal. So I think that will be a good uh, call. All right, let me just uh, cut this one out for a minute, because I'm not convinced that this card is the best uh, card to add because we have a lot of other cool cards like this one which is also a zombie a flick to uh, it's a nice threat it can become a 5-3 if you play it if you play it well uh, obviously because you have four mana left um, so let's see what else we can play All right, let, let's see what we're not gonna play this is a cyborg card I'm not gonna play this card unless I see it's useful this is also not the best card double red as well still playable though but not for my deck, so nope, you're out. Uh, I'm not gonna play this card. I'm not a big fan of this card. You have to sacrifice the creature, so yeah, no. Also a nice strong card. This is uh, potential for some aggro uh, yeah, playstyle. So let's just put that in the deck for now. It also works with your exerter, so you have two exert. Not bad. Uh, also nice with your cartouches and everything. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good. This is uh, something I will, will not play. Damn, I'm stuttering. <laughs> this could be potentially good because we're playing with a lot of non-creature spells. I'm not sure yet if I want that because we do have a lot of two drops already. Well, not not a lot, but we have a few. Good enough. Uh, this scrapper is also really strong. Also, is a menace card, so I think I will play this just because I can. It's a nice card. So let's just put that Sandstalker uh, Strangler aside. Also a nice playable card right here. But, yeah, maybe this is smart to play. Because you can cycle this and return it with your Scarab God. So you have a 4-4 mana zombie. Can be interesting, but I can also do that with the other two. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe if I have some space left. Also a nice card with Prowess. Gives uh, himself first strike if you attack. Can be playable. I'm not sure if I want to play this card. 
I think if you reanimate it with the Scarab God again, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, but we have a lot of three drops already. So maybe we can switch out a few. Because I don't know, the the scrapper uh crasher, <laughs> sorry. The crasher is also really strong. So let's just put that aside for now because I rather have the camera scrapper, which becomes a four three menace together with the other uh, hasty cards. So, yeah. Let's put some extra in here for uh, just this one. So you can discard your uh, your uh, crappy cards. Here we have another cool 2-drop. Becomes a 3-3 three, three trample. But I think we have enough 2-drops two, uh, two for now. So I'm just going to lay that aside. Blur of Blades is also a nice spell. Kill some dudes, maybe. Or it's a combat trick. It also works with uh, your prowess. Oh, no, wait. You don't because we don't we're not playing that, except for this one, and um, for the Drake of course. So let's just put that in. Instant speed uh, stuff is also really important. So let's see how much blue we have. We don't have enough, or at least we don't have so much blue. Is there anything that we really want to play that's worth something? Yeah, the uh, River Winder is uh, really good, even if you reanimate it. You can easily cycle it if you have uh, uh, too few, uh, how do you say that? <laughs> if you have few lands on, on the table, you just cycle it for a card and get it back with your Scarab God maybe. Mm, so let's, yeah, let's see if we can put that in. That's a good card. I know that's a good card. So our curve is rather low, it's, it's especially around here. So let's see how much cards we have now. And before I do that, these... I don't know, I'm not gonna play these, the, the splash green for belief is not worth uh, the trouble. I don't know, and the scry 3, yeah. It is a sorcery though, but I think it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna leave those out for now. Alright, so here we have the deck, uh, what I would play at least. We start off with uh, the unsummon, which is a good, uh, perfect card to uh, get you some time or have a combat trick ready. Same goes for this one, it can maybe even finish your opponent with a, with a 2 damage. And you can also redirect the 2 damage to a Planeswalker if you want. So that's a nice option that, that you have. This one uh, is really strong, you don't have to exert it, but uh, if you do, for any creature that you exert by the way, you can discard a card and draw a card, so you can loot through, through your deck uh, and see what you can find. Well, this is just a basic cool card. <laughs> Prowess is good, the Afflict is good, it's a zombie, everything works uh, with this card, so yeah, that's in. Still doubting about the Red Scamel, because we only have two deserts, so we might switch this out for something else. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's check it out right now, well, what we can uh, fit in the deck. Is there anything? Yeah, we have a Doom Beetle. I don't know, I think I'd rather have the Rune Red, because of the Death Touch. It's also nice if you re uh, recur it again with your Scarab God. Uh, yeah, you have a 4 4 Dead Toucher. Also, it kills a creature, probably, if it blocks, um, without any combat tricks. So, yeah, you also have uh, some fuel for the cause with the Scarab God because I, can I think the Scarab God is your will, uh, your win. Jeez. <laughs> I was looking at the Supreme Will when I said that. So, yeah, this one is in. It is a zombie, though, the, the Camel, but yeah, it's not gonna do anything, I think. Plus this one trades as well, with a lot of things, even more. So yeah, in it is. Here we have another bounce spell. Yeah, it's gonna be annoying for uh, your opponent. It's a permanent as well, so you can bounce a lot of things. Especially use this as a combat trick that makes you uh, powerful when you're in combat. So here's another Exerter, because we have a little bit of uh, Exert going on, but, but, but that's good. Uh, Camera Scrapper is also a solid card. You just want to play this card. You really want to play it. So that that's good. Here we have some Hasty uh, Madness. Uh, yeah, basically the same as the other one. Uh, you just want to play this, right? Tar creature can block. Nice. Triggers the uh, two drop as well. So that's good. All right, this is uh, win number two. The Enigma Drake. I think this can be uh, three, four, or four, four easily. So yeah, you have a flying 4-4. Four, four. That's also a problem for your for your enemy. Uh, excuse me. Open fire, solid card. You really want to play this card. Uh, yeah, even splash red if you want. Good card. All right, here's some more flyer. 
uh, flyer givers. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is a really strong card because flying is still really important. If you have evasion as as it's called, yeah, you just uh, win games sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, it's a good card. Good card. More options right here. You either draw some cards uh, or one card actually, and uh, you have the option to uh, counter a spell. Can be really important. You never see that coming. Well, I already explained this is a good combination. And also a zombie. So in he goes. The cartouche is really strong. Doomfall, solid removal spell. Or you can disrupt uh, your enemy by exiling his Nicol Bolas, for example. <laughs> yeah, the four drops. Uh, I already talked about this card. Strong card. Wildfire, eternal. Yeah, the afflict four really uh, is uh, handy and good. It's strong. Uh, and if it doesn't block, you can probably get something out of it. So why not? Yeah, good card. And also a zombie, really important. Torment of Venom, yeah we talked about this card as well. Removal is really important. Torment of Scarabs, also a really strong card. This is win number three I believe. So here we go, in in you go. And uh, Rags is really annoying. Kill all the 2-2s two or the 1-1s, one 3-2s. And Riches is your late game option. Yeah, you can just steal a creature. And that's one, one of the best things that you can do. Stealing your opponent's shit. <laughs> well, no need for this card to explain. This is your main win. It's uh, Fox Games Up. <laughs> Strong card. Love it. Scrounge of Souls. It's a nice target for your Scarab God or uh, on its own. Get you some life back. 3 4 for 5. Strong card. The Riverwinder. Also a good card to play. How do you get rid of a 5 5? Exactly. You don't. <laughs> well, maybe through blocking, but it's gonna hurt him anyway, or her. So we have some options left um, over here for a potential sideboard like this one. Um, if you see that he, uh, he or she plays with a lot of extra, this can be uh, yeah really good for you. You can switch it out for your bounce spells maybe, so it doesn't untap anymore. Yeah, here you have uh, some more. Two drops, I don't know, not really a big fan of this card. I do not have any discard outlets or cycle cards, not not a lot at least, so no. I'm not really playing with Eternalizer and Balm as well, so this is a no-no, but we're looking for some good sideboard cards. Maybe a cancel if you see that you really need to counter things, big bombs for example. The Scorpion is also really strong. I actually want to play this card, but we have 23 cards already and you have to make choices. But this is a good card to keep in mind. Uh, this is also a nice cyborg card for uh, aggro decks. What else do we have? Uh, Moaning Wall also for the aggro. Really good to have. It's also a zombie, so interesting. Um, yeah, what else is there? If you see another uh, flying deck, you can cyborg that in. As I told you, this one is a good cyborg card. And here we have the other colors. Yeah, we're not gonna play these. I was thinking about green at the beginning because of the deserts. Uh, then you can play the Sandstalker as well, or Sand Strangler. Uh, but there is nothing really going on in green. Yeah, this is a good card, but you're not gonna splash green for this because of the double green. This is a good card, but I'm not sure if you can get your desert game going. So, eh, maybe a 4 4, yeah, that's strong. But if it's a 3 3, it's uh, good to deal with, so and you, you, you don't really want that. Sifter Worm, you want to beat somebody, somebody to the ground with this card. Sifter Worm is also insane, but yeah, without green, it's gonna be hard. And besides that, there's yeah, this is a strong card, but yeah, you're not gonna splash green or use green with just three green cards. That's you really need that, like a like a Ronas or something like that if you want to do some green in your deck in this pool at least. And here you have uh, yeah, Red Scamo if you need some more two drops. Could be useful if you see that uh, it's a really fast deck or something and you need to trade. Yeah, you should uh, sideboard those cards in. So here we have another zombie of course for your Scarab God and some mana fix for the three colors. And yeah, that, that's basically the deck that I want to play. So if you have any other ideas on, hey, you, you should do this, tell me in the comments below. And if you find this uh, a nice tutorial kind of thing, 
let me know that as well and I can make some more because yeah new sets are bound to uh, happen so I can also do a more of uh, Amon Cat if you want Amon Cat Hour of Devastation but uh, yeah I think this is uh, a nice start for a deck oh sorry that wasn't in the screen <laughs> let me know what you think thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video